Alrighty, here we are on lesson 16, solving proportions. This is one of my all-time favorite mathematical things, is solving proportions. So I'm very excited about this for you guys. So a proportion is an equation that states that two ratios are equal. So we've talked about, you know, equal ratios, and we've seen this setup before. But now we're going to solve the proportions a little differently to get our equivalent ratios. So in the example here, we have 8 over 3 equals k over 18. And before, we were asking ourselves, you know, what can I multiply 3 by to get to 18? And we drew our arrows. And we said we'd multiply by 6. So we multiply by 6 up here. And then we'd get that 48 equals k. All right. So for the first few examples, we're going to work on that. So we remember... So remember, you always want to draw the arrows towards what you're looking for. So here we're drawing the arrows to the left. So we're asking ourselves, how do we get from 9 to 27? We know we multiply by 3. So we're going to multiply by 3 on the bottom. So we get that C equals 36. All right. Over here, we're going to draw our arrows to the right this time. So how do we get from 30 to 60? We multiply by 2 on the top and on the bottom. So we get that C equals 300 here. Here we're drawing our arrows to the left. How do we get from 2 to 8? We know we multiply by 4. So we get that Z equals 12 here. And then here, how do we get from 7 to 14? We multiply by 2 there. So we're going to multiply by 2 here. So we get that X equals 9. All right. So that's good and all, but sometimes, you know, we get these numbers and we just don't have a clue, you know, how to get there. And then it involves some decimals or some fractions, and that's just not fun. So we're going to use this new method now, and these are called cross products. So the cross product property is that in a proportion, cross products are equal. If you multiply one diagonal, it must equal the other diagonal. So they have it set up here pretty nicely. Here they have them circled. So they say, you know, that 2 times d must equal 9 times 3. So we get 2d equals 27, and then it's just solving a one-step equation. All right, so this is why all those times when you're talking about multiplying fractions, we always say multiply across. We don't cross-multiply. This is called cross-multiplying. Okay, so we're going to do some practice on the next page. So for these, you can circle them if you want to. I usually don't, just because I think it gets a little messy. And you can write them in any order. So here, we have, you know, 5 times D. So we'd have 5D equals 20 times 3, which is 60. So we divide by 5 on both sides, and we get that D equals 12. All right, the next one. You know, if you want to keep in the same fashion, we can have 3 times 15 equals 45 equals 4x, and then we're going to divide by 4 on both sides, and we would get 11.25 equals x. Again, you could set it up like this, or you could have 4x equals 45. If you like to keep your variables on the left-hand side, that's fine, um, but we should get used to having them on both sides. So now here we've got some decimals, so we're going to have 5.2x, equals, and if we multiply 11.7 times 4, we get 46.8. We divide by 5.2 on both sides. Oh, lost my decimal. We get x equals 9. All right, so again, that was my habit that I like to keep my variables on the left-hand side, but you could write it in any order. Okay, so now we've got some word problems here. And the first one says that each day an elephant eats 5 pounds of food for every 100 pounds of its body weight. How much does a 9,300 pound elephant eat per day? So when we set these up, I want you to use some labels off to the side. So you can put them in any order because we're not finding the unit rate right now. So we're looking at how many pounds of food and then their body weight. So I'm going to put food over body. And then you're going to set up your blank proportion. 
So now your first column, um, I'm going to put in what we know for sure. So they told us that initial ratio was 5 pounds of food for 100 pounds of body weight. And then we're looking for how much food, and they told us per 9,300 pounds of body weight. So it's important to make sure everything lines up. So up and down here, this is our initial ratio they gave us. Then going across, the top is all food and the bottom is all body. So once you know that you have everything in line, then we're going to use our cross products. So here we're going to have 46,500 equals 100x. If we divide by 100 on both sides, you would get 465 equals x, but we need some labels. So we would say that it would eat 465 pounds of food. All right? We've got one more here. It says that Fred bought six king-size candy bars for $6.90. How much would Fred pay for 15 candy bars? So if we want to keep in our similar order that we've been doing before, we're going to put money on top and then a number of candy on the bottom. Set up your blank proportion. Now we fill in what we know. So we know that it was $6.90 for six of them. And we want to know how much for 15. So now we use our cross products. And if you multiply 6.9 times 15, you get 103.5 equals 6x. Divide by 6, divide by 6. You get that 17.25 equals x. But remember you need a label. So we would say that Fred would pay $17.25. Alright, so that's all we're going to do for this lesson. So um, if you have any questions just bring those to class, but that is it for this lesson.